we here at Rolanda have been celebrating our very first year. We're one year <laughs> old! because we could not have been here for one year without you and you and you and you and you watching us and supporting us, and I love you for that. Thank you so much. It's been a rough year, but a good one, but a good one. <laughs> you know, when we were pulling to get together today's show, we started sitting around and, and thinking about, boy, we've had some really memorable folks on this show. Some of our most memorable guests we were thinking about and saying, I wonder whatever happened to those folks since they've been on our show. And people well, like Roman awesome. Ray, who when we met go. was cheating yeah, on his wife, Jamie, we you're wondered if he, she ever what forgave him for that. What about, there's old poor George. He found out that his sweet, innocent girlfriend, Sean, was really a weekend stripper. And we wondered, how did he explain that to his mother when he got back to Texas? Well, we're going to find out. Well, we've, been, we've invited back many of our most memorable guests today, guests who have touched us, guests who made us laugh, Guests who disturbed us, angered us, and others who have simply moved us to tears. Why, some of them even made us, God, made us care. Imagine that. Our first guest certainly made us care about a little girl by the name of Brittany. I'd like you to welcome the two-year-old's mother, Diane, and the child's grandmother, Pat, back to the Rolanda show. When they first appeared in a show entitled, My Mom Kidnapped My Baby, well, Things got really, really heated. Take a look at this. What is your side of this story, Pat? Why is this right, battle Brittany's going? three and a half. She's had five concussions, a broken nose, and broken fingers. And she none of them was done. She has not had five concussions. She had two. Oh, and one of them was at Annika's house. The medical records from California State, five. Brittany was healthy when you took her out of my house. Right. A week later, they called me from California and put Brittany in the hospital for two days. With Infantago. Infantago, say it right. Tigo. And if you remember right, there's medical records that you took her to the hospital in yes. Washington for it. That's so how could I have done it? I was in jail. It was a rough day that day. You almost came to blows and look at you now. You know something, Diane, the last time you were here, you had rings all pierced in your lips, a thing in your tongue, and you, you look so different. Are things different, Diane and Pat? Well, somewhat, I mean, I've changed my appearance and basically I've changed my lifestyle. I used to party a lot and stuff now, but now I'm trying to find a full-time job and go back to school and stuff, but basically it's still the thing of I want my daughter, but my mom wants to keep my daughter. Mm -hmm. But at least you're changing your attitude and your life and that helps you sell well, yourself as a mom a bit better. Be, Who has custody of Brittany now? She's still in the foster home. Mm -hmm. But basically the thing was before is I didn't feel like I had any chance at all mm -hmm. of getting my daughter back. I liked dyeing my hair. I liked the lip rings. I liked the tattoos. But? But to get my daughter back, I have to be responsible. You gotta grow up. Pat, have things really changed since you were on our show? Yeah, I have a job now. I have an apartment. I live right next door to Brittany. Mm -hmm. Um, she comes over every night, and in March, we're going back to court, and I will adopt Brittany. Very good. You know, not only have we worried about children on our show, we've also worried about parents, especially since the statistics show that at least one million parents in this country are beaten by their own children every year. Parents like one mother who admitted on our show that her daughter hits her, chokes her, and once even tried to stab her. That's my reaction is when I get mad, I get violent. And that's when I went for the knife. Tell me how you went for the knife. What happened that day that, that made you grab a knife and go We was it? arguing and then she came, we was arguing over money. She came to the bathroom and started poking me with a, a, a fork. Like, you know, one of them Afro Sheen forks that you comb your hair out with. Mm -hmm. Started poking me in the forehead and I started laughing and it pissed her off more so she started choking me. And that's when we started fighting. But when I hit her and she hit me back and hit me into the room, she started choking me. And then I kicked her in her face and she kicked like, your mother in her face. Then she pushed me back. Yep. 
and she hit me right back after that. And then after that, I went outside and I got the knife out of my sister's car. It was in the car. Coming back to our show today, Karma Lita and her mother, Betty. Welcome. <laughs> well, they're holding hands. That's a good sign. What has changed since you were on the Rolanda show? Just what you just seen, <laughs> watching yourself on TV. I just didn't know I was like that. You saw yourself I mean, on TV, huh? What did you think yeah. about what you saw? And you went home and watched that show. What did you think? How can I disrespect my mama like that? Because I only have one. You know, you know, you know. Betty, what about you? How did that time with your daughter on our show affect your life? A lot. It really did. Uh, well, she said I'm a better mom now because I'm a long distance mom. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> but you two look like you've gotten closer. Yes, we have. She's really, I mean, she's really a nice daughter now. Really. Oh, oh I love happy <laughs> ending. That's great. That's great. <laughs> We've had some great times on this show, some shocking times also. Like, I'll never forget the look on the face of one of our past guests when his girlfriend brought him on TV to reveal to the nation her humongous secret. The poor guy left here scared to death that his mom was going to find out. We're going to reveal what the girlfriend's secret was, update you on their relationship, and tell you what dear old mom finally had to say right after this. <laughs>